So let's start with a classic office job. You know, the natural habitat of water cooler gossip and passive aggressive post-it notes. In this brave new world, your average office worker is becoming like a Swiss army knife of skills, all thanks to AI. You know that guy from accounting? He's a part-time data analyst, part-time financial forecaster, and a part-time AI whisperer. But this is where it gets interesting. With AI handling the grunt work, humans are free to do what we do best, come up with creative solutions, navigate complex social situations, and find increasingly elaborate ways to avoid actual work. This shift is happening across every industry you can imagine. Take healthcare, for instance. AI is already diagnosing diseases, predicting patient outcomes, and even assisting in surgery. It's like having Dr. House and steroids minus the attitude problem and addiction issues. AI can now start to handle some of that heavy lifting of data analysis, freeing up doctors to focus on what really matters, patient care, complex decision-making, and trying to decipher their own handwriting. Seriously, has anyone been able to read a doctor's prescription before? Even the legal profession, that bastion of tradition, and overpriced hourly rates, isn't immune to the AI revolution. AI is now sifting through mountains of case law, predicting trial outcomes, and probably right now, drafting the world's most thorough prenups. It's turning every lawyer into a super lawyer, capable of handling more cases with greater accuracy than ever before. But that's, I guess, where the million dollar question comes in. What happens when AI gets so good at these tasks that it starts putting people out of work? 